is our queen to be. What's that from? What's that a reference to? Coming to America. Yeah. I love this country. <laughs> I mean, how do I even follow that up question? But I'll, I'll try my best. Um, I, really, <laughs> I feel like for both of your characters, I always feel so bad because I feel as though your characters are just trying to mind their business and live their best lives. But somehow danger just always comes to find you. And so I really wanted to know for both of your characters, especially after we ended at episode three, how was it really reading the script to really see um, Yatide, that your character actually, Bill Quist, she actually calls on Ricky's character. I was kind of shocked about that. So I wanted you both to talk about what it was like pairing up for this episode and really also too, what was your reaction to knowing that this is the person that you called on in your time of need? And Yatide, I can we can start with you. Oh, wow. Um, first off, great question. Um, <laughs> it's, it's always such a, a shock and a joy, and there's so many different emotions whenever you get a new script. Um, we, we've seen Bill Quist go through some hard times. So it's, I mean, there is so much love and appreciation for her. I have so much love for her personally. So whenever I see any tough times coming up, my, my heart kind of goes out to her. Um, but what I do really enjoy is whenever th there is that connection between Shadow Moon and Bill Quist. And um, that uh, earlier sequence that we saw even in, in episode three of the, um, of, of the dream sequence. Uh, that was an incredible uh, joy to play with because we're looking at how all these things are jumping out of, uh, these capabilities are jumping out for Shadow, this deeper understanding, a deeper connection with himself and uh, things that exist within himself. And I love the idea that the two characters are able to bring out uh, certain parts of each other and that they're, they're able to continuously connect over time and space. And I think there's something really beautiful about that message. So what does it mean uh, to, to have Bilquis reach out to, to Shadow? I mean, first off, who wouldn't? Have you seen Mr. Ricky Whittle? <laughs> um, <laughs> but- the, Good makeup. I, uh, <laughs> right? But I love the deeper ties as well. I love that they're, 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 they're both reaching into their roots and they're both finding the parts within themselves that further connect them to each other. Yeah, um, there's a lot of parallels. There's, there's a, a beautiful kind of hypocrisy between the characters that um, in, in certain pairs and certain new dynamics that we have this season um, where you have kind of Salim and, and Laura kind of given this sage relationship advice about letting go without actually letting go of their own kind of struggles and problems and projecting all their stuff onto each other with Shadow and, and, and Bilquis, I feel those two have been very much paralleled this season um, and there's a real connection. Um, and I love the fact that they have uh, kind of this kind of similar journey of self-discovery. And what we are starting to see in, the, in this episode is that they are connected on, on, on various levels and they are reaching out to each other and what that means going forward is very exciting for myself and then the, you know the fans moving forward I don't know if your T days actually bothered she's you know she's she doesn't like me really that much I mean you... <laughs> I'm always super yeah. covered um so you know it's it, it is but it is fantastic and you know they're, they're both um going to be kind of linked by the Orisha um, who are an incredible part that has been brought in by uh, Charles Egley this season uh, with Neil Gaiman. Um, I feel like in the pre-season before the, the show started, they had a lot of time to discuss where we were going. And when I went into the writing room and saw kind of the arc of, of this season through this season and into the next and how the shadow is going to be guided by the Orisha and how Bill Quist is going to become a part of him finding himself it got me very excited because she is a character that I've not had much uh, screen time with and someone I was very excited to work with because obviously, you know, I would say this if she wasn't here, she's an incredibly talented woman and to work opposite her was so much fun because I'm working with, you know, my best friend there. And then you're just reacting off that talented performance, which makes my job easier, you know, because everything just becomes real because she's so real. Um, and they just grow together and it's about kind of, 
the world has defined us. It, it's I'm, I'm, I find Bill Chris is a little bit of a a metaphor for America. You know, in in episode one of season one, Wednesday says um, America is the only country in the world that doesn't know what it is. You know, and I think we definitely saw that in 2020, where finally it was it was shown a mirror and had to look in a reflection and didn't like what it saw. Um, and it's not until it owns that history and sees that reflection and all the all the flaws and everything until it can actually welcome it, take it on board, and move forward in a, in a stronger form. And with with Bilquis, the world has kind of defined her, and she kind of lost herself. Um, and this episode moving forward, along with Shadow, because she kind of helps Shadow once she's found herself and her strength, they find you know they're they're, lo they're looking within. Uh, instead of looking without for the answers. And I think that's a very important message for, for anyone watching the show um, out there when you know, we're so molded by social media and whatever people think of us when it's really no one else's business and we shouldn't even care what they think. Um, so it's a beautiful message that sometimes the answer is, is within. And with Shadow and Bilquis, we kind of have this beautiful parallel where we're helping each other kind of, well, I think more Bilquis helping Shadow um, but we're both looking inside for that answer to move forward. Thank you so much. I just want happiness for both of your characters and everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think that. that too. <laughs>